I want to live. I want to run through the jungle, the wind in back. Oh, um, hi. I was just having a uh, chemical free, waste free shower, but um, I can take you on a tour of my bathroom if you like. So today I wanted to talk about a way to transition into chemical free, waste free living in your bathroom. A very wise friend of mine told me that if you can't put it in your mouth, you shouldn't put it on your skin. Your skin is a porous, breathing, absorbing organ, so why should we put chemicals there? The list for ditching your old products is huge. Also, this way of living is a lot cheaper and saves you heaps of money. It is scary initially looking down at that gigantic pile of chemical filled plastic bottles that you just spent all your money on and saying goodbye, but trust me, once you get off them you won't look back. You've first got to get okay with the fact that these things aren't going to give you that same luxurious lather that sodium lauryl sulfate is going to give you, or that silky smooth shine that chemical filled conditioners are going to leave your hair feeling, even though it's just coating it in some weird film of gunk that we don't really know what it is or we can't pronounce any of the names on the back of the label. So, for cleaning your body, you can choose between a bulk soap, a bulk non-soap bar, or things like this, activated charcoal soap thingy, or you can also make your own body scrubs out of old used coffee grinds that you can collect from any coffee people or if you have a coffee maker at home. And you can just add things like coconut oil, essential oils, um, cacao, sugar, and create your own coffee scrub. This is a sugar scrub my neighbor gave me with a Christmas scent. Another thing you can use is a cloth. This is from Norwex, and it's actually got silver interwoven into the fibers, so it cleans you without having to use any soap at all. You can use this on your face or your body, which brings us to the face. So microbeads in a lot of face washes is actually tiny little bits of plastic that end up in the ocean. I've just been washing my face with water mostly for the last year and I have found my skin is actually a lot better than it has ever been. So I often use this little um, cloth and it gets off makeup as well. If you're getting off makeup you can just use coconut oil or another oil. It works absolutely amazingly. I'm tired of picking up makeup wipes off the beach. They don't really biodegrade. With the face scrub, you can either use what you use on your body. You can also just use bicarb soda to scrub your face. And as a toner, you can either use apple cider vinegar or you can make your own rose water by boiling some rose petals. Another great scrub for anti-inflammatory use is turmeric, cinnamon and coconut oil. For moisturizer, you can just use coconut oil or another oil. I like to use hemp oil or jojoba. You can also use shea butter to moisturize or warm up cacao butter. If you're into using face masks, then try bentonite clay or there's a plethora of edible face masks online. Let's talk about hair. Wait. So I have very, very long hair and I generally just use bicarb soda to wash it, turning it into a paste and then I condition it with apple cider vinegar, leaving it in like you would with normal conditioner. When I feel like my hair is getting a little bit dry and it needs some love, I normally just leave in some oil overnight. I normally use coconut oil, hemp seed oil or olive oil and you can also put a rosemary water rinse through your hair if you have dandruff or dry scalp. You can make a hair mask using avocado banana, maple syrup, almond milk, and olive oil. In the case of removing hair, you can buy metal razors, and you can also buy one of these blocks, which is kind of like a rubbery block thing that you can use to sharpen your razors on. Alternatively, if you prefer waxing, you can make your own wax out of lemon and sugar. Pumice stones can be found on the beach. They are great for exfoliating your feet. Commercial deodorants contain terrible things including aluminium chloride and you're putting that right next to your lymph system. Alternatively, you can use things like deodorant crystals that you can make your own out of things like bentonite clay, bicarb soda, coconut oil and arrowroot flour. There's heaps of recipes online. For your toothbrush, choose a bamboo toothbrush with biodegradable polymer bristles. This one's enhanced with charcoal. I like to make my own toothpaste out of things like bentonite clay, bicarb soda, coconut oil, oil of cloves, cinnamon, xylitol powder, and any essential oils you want to flavor it with. But it's not really a fun science. You just kind of mix it up until you like the taste of it. Bentonite clay on its own is great, as well as bicarb soda, which, but it can be a little bit abrasive. Oil pulling is a weird and wonderful thing to do if you can handle it. That involves swishing around oil in your mouth 
for up to 20 minutes and you can choose coconut oil or sesame oil also works really good. Unfortunately, there's no vegan waste free solution to floss as of yet. Floss is either made of waxed nylon, which takes a really long time to biodegrade, or it's made of silk, which is made by boiling silk worms alive. If you have some old silk or can get your hands on some old silk, it's great to pull apart the fibers, wrap a few together and use that. And ladies, I have one word that will change your life. Cups. <laughs>